Hey my friend, welcome to Joey Stack and in this video I am going to show you how to install the Seaborn library in Python. We are going to create a Python project folder, then create a virtual environment within it and then within that virtual environment we are going to install the Seaborn library. Why we are doing all this? Because that's how it happens in the corporate IT world. So let's begin. So the first step will be to open the terminal. So I'm going to press command space, then type terminal and bang the terminal is open. Now I want to create my Python project folder within the desktop. So I'm going to get inside my desktop first using the CD command. And then over here using the MKDIR command, I'm going to create a Python project folder. I am going to name it Seaborn underscore install. Okay, after the library that we are trying to install. I hit enter and you can see a folder has been created over here. Now I'm going to get inside this folder seaborn underscore install. And in this folder, I'm going to create a virtual environment. Before I begin installing the virtual environment, let me tell you that to create a virtual environment, Python should be installed in your machine. You can check the version of Python installed in your machine by typing the command Python 3 hyphen hyphen version. And it's going to give you the version of Python installed in your machine. If you don't have Python installed already in your machine, then you can install it by watching this video in the I button. Now let's create the virtual environment. So the command is very simple. It's Python 3 hyphen M VENV, which stands for virtual environment. And then we need to provide the name of the virtual environment. So in our case, let's give the name of the virtual environment as Seaborn underscore VENV. I hit enter. It's going to take a few seconds. If it doesn't throw any error, that means the virtual environment has been created successfully. And let's check it by typing the command ls hyphen ltr. You can see Seaborn underscore VENV has been created successfully. Now the next step will be to activate this virtual environment Seaborn underscore VENV. The command is again simple. Since we are inside the Seaborn underscore install folder, we are going to type dot Seaborn underscore VNV. That's our virtual environment. Forward slash bin, forward slash activate. I hit enter and the virtual environment has become active. Now the final step is to install the Seaborn library. It's very simple. We are going to do it using pip. So the command will be pip install Seaborn. I hit enter and the installation has begun. It's downloading some supporting libraries. Well, 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 we have the successfully installed label over here. And in this collection of packages, we see Seaborn also. That means Seaborn is installed successfully in this virtual environment, which is active at this point in time, which is this one, Seaborn underscore VNV. So I'm going to check it in the list of packages installed for this virtual environment by using the command pip space list. And there you go. We see Seaborn installed over here. The version is 0.12.2. Now let's display the version of Seaborn programmatically to check if the Seaborn library is ready for use or not. So to do that, I'm going to get inside the Python prompt, which I can easily do by typing Python 3 and hitting enter. I'm inside my Python prompt. The first thing I'm going to do is to import Seaborn for which I'm going to write import Seaborn. I hit enter. If there is no failure, if there is no error, then this is another evidence that the Seaborn library is successfully installed in this virtual environment. And there you go, no error. Now let's write the code to print the version of the Seaborn library. So it will be Seaborn dot double underscore version double underscore. I hit enter and there you go the version of the Seaborn library is printed. And this is the same as what we saw in the list of packages for this virtual environment. And this is an evidence that the Seaborn library is ready for use. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to install the Seaborn library in Python from Joystick. And I'll see you in the next video of Joystick. Till then, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.